Hi besties, it's me Paige and as you can see by the title, I'm gonna be reacting to SB19's interview with Karen Davila. I hope I'm saying her name correctly. I've been seeing a whole bunch about this interview. A lot of people have been saying on the timeline like the two number one interviews people need to watch if they want to become an 18 is this one and the Tony Talks one. And I have seen the Tony Talks one and it was so good. Probably their best interview in my opinion to date. So I'm super excited about this. It's a little bit long and again, I know you guys are gonna hear me shout out Melly numerous, numerous times, but thank you Melly for giving the SLMT girls subtitles on videos that would probably never get subtitles. Um, we are so grateful for her, especially us reactors, because a lot of the stuff we wouldn't even react to if it wasn't for her. So thank you Melly. I'm so excited to watch this. Also, Melly's Twitter will be down in the description. Everybody go follow her because she's a queen. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. So excited! Are you ready? <gasps> oh my gosh, Justin's long. Justin's long hair. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. Look at her. Oh, I should probably turn the captions on. Oh, look at Ken just standing there being cute. Oh my gosh, her energy. I already love it. <laughs> Starting off with the, this question. Uh, regular day that's like what I've heard from a lot of people that have had it like they feel it for one day and then it's gone like they'll have a fever for one day and then it's gone the timing was not ideal for them. <laughs> oh my god, look how cute. No, because I'll start crying. Look how freaking cute they are. Real life besties. Ilarawan mo ang buhay mo noon. Ako yung parang perfect example na walang wala. As in, hindi ko na pag-aaral talaga. Noong buhay ko po parang puro stress at talagang, ano po kasi, medyo magbali yung family ko. Broken family, gano'n, poor financial problems po talaga. Na before 16 years old, nag-ano na po, independent na ako. Kala ko patapon yung buhay ko, gano'n. Sa totoo lang ko siyempre parang may depression state ako na minsan naisip ko. May mga ano yung minsan, Darating din po ako na parang may nagkaroon po ako na parang suicidal thoughts, ganyan. Mm -hmm. Pero, inisip ko po, meron kaya akong shock sa buhay ko. Parang, he deserves ko every good thing that happens to him. Oh my god, he literally deserves the world. If I could give it to him, I would. Oh my god. Ako ako ng alternative learning system. Nagtrabaho po ako, kahit anong trabaho po. So parang nananasa ko po lahat pinakamahirap na estado. Oo. Oh, I'm glad he can like finally have fun in life. Like, oh, sakto lang po parang ganoon na nakakain maayos na napag-aral po ako ng ng parents ko. Actually, nakapag-aral po ako ng architecture nung pumasok po ako dito. May exam po ako noon eh. Sinikreto ko po sa lola ko na mag-vision ako dito. Ayun po, nagalit yung parents sa akin. Two years po ako ng two two years po ako hindi nag-usap. Nagsisigaw po ako ng time na yun eh, pero May resulta naman po nangyari. Masaya naman po sila sa akin. At paano kayo nagbati ng parents mo? 
Siyempre ko po last time nung nag-live po kami. Doon niyo pa ako, doon niyo pa ako. Sinap- Not my dog's uh, barking, so sorry. I remember that live. I was watching it. Touch it wouldn't happen. My parents, yes po. At nandita na kayo. Twice or once. Mga ganun po. Five years old tapos. First year college po. Pero wala kang galit sa kanila. Wala po kasi ano po eh. Mapagmahal po yung parents ko eh. Though tough love pero alam kong best book para, para sa akin. Oh, so true. Po, um, normal na student lang din po ako, nag-aaral, and then, nung student po ako, dun din ako pumasok dun sa training namin, and yung parents ko naman po is very support, supportive sa lahat ng ginagawa ko. Nung nag-viral nga po kami, siguro ang nagbago lang po talaga is parang mas nagkaroon na sila ng um, tiwala. Nung ginawa mo to, hindi dahil may pangangailangan ka, Ah, uh, hindi po. More of like, gusto ko po talaga ever since nung bata pa po. Oh, so, ito na lang po na lang. He's just living his dream. Ah, 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 kasi kinangay po yung bahay nyo. Pero makikip po ako na tinuruan ako ng perso na pag may kailangan ka, kailangan paghirapan nyo. Same. Yung kailangan ito akong gagawa. Gusto ko po talaga mag-aral, pero gusto po kaya ng parents ko na pag-aralin ako. Kaya nag-apply po ako ng scholarship, tapos naging working student po ako, kasabay po nun. Sumali po ako ng dance club para po maka dagdag extra curricular activities nyo po. So pinagsabay-sabay ko po yun. Tapos sa kasamaang palad po, nagkasabay-sabay po, nagtignan na po akong magkaroon ng tubig sa bago po. So, yung mga kinita ko po doon sa pinag-trabaho ko, doon din po na po sa hospital bills ko. Nakakalimut ko. Pero, syempre, hindi naman po hindi kailangan mawala ng pag-asa. Nag-issue pa rin po ako ng way bilang panganay na makatulong sa parents ko. After po, no, nag-try po ako magturo ng mga sayaw sa mga bata po, sa mga... Sa school po na puro special children. Hanggang sa dumating po itong opportunity po na po ng SB19. Sa totoo po ang una nun, ang pagkakaalam ko, naghahanap lang po sila ng mga talent para pumunta sa ibang lugar, mag-perform, tapos kikita ng pera. Yun po talaga yung nasa utak ko. So sabi ko, ayan, may chance ako para makatulong ng mas malaki. Tapos hindi ko po alam na gano'n pala yung gagawin. So, para magiging trainee pala, tapos Ay, ilang years na walang sweldo. Tapos nung nakapasok na po ako dito, parang sabi ko, wala na eh, nasimulan ko na eh. Tapos parang na-attach na ako sa mga tao. Tsaka dream ko rin naman to. So, ituloy ko na, ilawis po yung barang kita. I love them. Yung family po namin medyo malaki. Meron times na parang noodles lang kakainin, gano'n po. Fortunately naman po, um, makapagtapos po ako ng aral. Sa TNT po ako nagtapos. Ayun po, nagtrabaho po ako para makatulong sa bills at uh, sa pag-aaral ng mga kapatid ko. And meron darating po kasi talaga sa point na parang kahit nagtatrabaho ka, parang hmm. iisipin mo kung ano talaga yung gusto mong gawin sa buhay. Tapos po, dumating yung time na parang may trabaho ako. I'm like cheering up. Tapos sarili ko. Pag ba ako nandito, hindi naman ito yung gusto ko. Yung parang kung meron sa mind mo na parang gusto mo ibalim. Pag yung mga kong PC or yung 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 keyboard. Kasi hindi, hindi ka dapat yeah, nandun eh. Parang hindi hindi ka masaya. So, pinagsabay ko po yung training. Pero po, parang nung dumating yung point na tayo, hindi ko na kaya. Kasi po parang groggy na po ako everyday. Kasi kabiti pa po ako nun. Um, Nakakawi ako mga alauna, alas dos. Tapos, Konting, pasok. Li, ano, konting iglit na lang, tapos pasok na po agad ulit ako. Dumating din po na parang nare-regret ko kasi ilang taon na kami, nagsisisi ako. Parang nagsisisi po ako na sumali ako dito. Hindi rin biro yun na yung pinagdaan na nyo. Opo. Pwede yun kasi parang ano pa ginagawa ako dito. Opo. Walang kinasiguraduhan. Can I just say, I've like known for a long time, obviously that most of them went into this wanting to help their families, which I think is like so just like makes you grateful for what you have and also makes you want to give back in ways that like you have never thought of before. And I think that's something that's really culturally different from where I'm from and from where they're from. Like, like how Stella was saying, as the oldest child, he wanted to like pay stuff, like pay for things, like help his family here you kind of are like pushed out of the nest at like 18 or whenever and then you just kind of worry about yourself and then you your own family you don't really like i mean until your parents get like older i wouldn't say you really are like financially like looking to help them it's more the other way around which i think is so interesting and it makes me want to do that too like every time i watch stuff like this like i've noticed i've 
been helping my parents more, like literally in any way that I can. And I started tearing up when Pablo was talking because I swear every time he talks about like how he wasn't passionate and how he had to find something he was passionate about, I get teary eyed because I'm like at a point in my life where I've graduated college and I really don't know what I want to do or where I want to go or anything, but I was tearing up because I just quit my job that I really didn't like that much and today actually was my first day at my new job which I'm really 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 excited for so I don't know I just got like emotional I always get emotional when they talk about these things I swear oh, oh my god anyways back to the interview I just wanted to say that because I think it's just so interesting they all went into this wanting to help their families and I think they really have been like I it's crazy. They deserve the world. Okay. Oh, I remember that. I can't believe. It. So good. Discount. Period. I would literally give them free things. I swear. He's so smart. I don't understand the whole investing things. Superior son. Really? Can't wait. Oh, I I can't wait. I wonder if I'll have money. Um, Hopefully I do to buy some. I think I'm going to go there so bad. So, I want to go there. I want to go there so bad. 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 Oh, that's so exciting. I want to cry. So 
Seriously, they're like so inspiring. I literally can't. I literally can't. They just make you want to be better people like all around. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I just... Everything they do, like... <laughs> Ako talaga, naniniwala ako sa ability ko, naniniwala ako sa mga gawin ko. Pero more than everything, nagpapasalamat po, ta ah, naniniwala po talaga ako sa power ni God. Um, siguro po, ang, ang naisip ko po is parang pinili namin na maging kami yon yung gusto po namin. Kasi po siyempre, hindi na nam kung ano yung gusto namin, hindi namin hahayaan na parang maghinayang pa kami na parang makita namin yung ibang tao na Uh, gusto, sana ako yung nandun, parang gano'n. So parang binigay pa talaga namin yung lahat po eh. Katulad nga po nun, parang binitawan nila yung mga uh, trabaho nila, kahit hirap, nahirap financially, parang pinush talaga namin kasi yun yung gusto namin. Sinasabi ng ilan, kayo ang masang BTS. Pag narinig nyo yun, anong feeling nyo? Grabe po yun. Kasi BTS po, iba, iba po yung BTS eh. Yung mga nagsistart po kami, yung mga kanta po talaga nila yung parang pinapapractice din natin. Pinapapractisan po namin na pinaperform namin sa iba't ibang lugar kasi um, kasi po dancing group kami at wala pa namang I remember when I reacted to that video. Na, may choreography. So, sila po yung group po talaga na nililock up namin na parang golden po namin kung ano man yung naabot nila. So, so um, it's an honor. Opo, it's an honor to, to be compared to them. Meron mga nagsasabi. I feel like as we are team Like, what BTS did for Korea, I think that SB19 is on their way to doing that same thing for the Philippines. Like, how they really helped Korea economically and they brought so many tourists there. Like, I think that right now what SB19 are doing, especially, like, that's how I think of them when I, when I want to compare them to someone. I want to compare them to BTS just for that reason. Like, I think that what they're doing right now is going to help attract a lot of tourism in the Philippines more than there is right now. And just economically, hopefully helping out the whole, like, I really think that's happening for them. Like, I, I can see it happening so much. Like, I'm, I can just see it happening. <gasps> Which is not true. Ang masakit po dun is we're trying to show kung ano yung meron kami. Kinocompare pa rin kami sa iba na, ah, ginagaya lang namin sila. Parang, um, parang low budget version kami nila. Kung maging iba-iba lang tayo ng charm, siguro iba-iba tayo ang pwede ipakita. If people just got to know them, like, why do people always care about visuals so much? Not that they're lacking. I don't even think they're lacking visuals. They're beautiful. So that's confusing, first of all. Second of all, I wish people just wouldn't think about visuals so highly. Like, what does it have to do with someone's talent? I don't understand. So, actually, lahat po maroon ng mag-rap. So, you can make a rap right now. Opo! Stop! Gusto ko ng rap. About Karen. About this Karen. Yes. Ghost of Miss Karen Davila, wag kang magkapamali dahil mata niya ay parang agila. Subukan niyo ang magkamali, siguradong titirahin ka niya pero hindi pa baba. Dahil titignan niya kung may laman ang kukote mo, meron ba o wala. Sige, subukan natin kung saan tatagal ang alam na kukote mo, iha. Okay, sir. I love this woman. She's so adorable. I can't. Should I also try to learn, or what are we doing here? No, I probably so, shouldn't. Nobody yeah, wants to see that. But who knows? Maybe I can dance. So, you know, first step, oh, parang ano lang po, parang nabalik ka lang po, parang nabalik ka lang po. Kung siya pa, kaya ngayon, kaya ngayon. Kasi ba po, kasi bumalik na katabi po, medyo iwan ka. Yan. Bayan! Bayan, bilang po. One, two, three. One, two, 
Period. Not the tissues. Still teaching a dance class. Tissue, tissue. I feel like I could memorize a dance if that was. The way they were like looking at her in the mirror is so cute. What an adorable woman. <laughs> yes! When does Game Boys 2 come out? That's like, I finished watching that. I binge watched it recently. Did you like each other? Oh, no. <gasps> and now they're literally besties. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like it's just Definitely. <laughs> oh, still? And Justin? Wow. Someone say Bruno Mars. Someone say Bruno Mars. <gasps> yes, period. He's a Filipino man. Come on. Yes. Last question you have to answer. Hold on. Can we? 18 on Twitter are so powerful. I don't know how we haven't yet tried to tweet Bruno Mars to try to collaborate with them because he's a Filipino man. I feel like he maybe already knows about them. Maybe. Um, it depends on how up to date he is with the Philippines. But like, can we like start a hashtag or like something? Because Bruno Mars is about to go on tour probably next year because he's dropping an album soon. So this is my also my dream collapse. So can we please make it happen? Thank you. Anyways. <gasps> Not dating someone who's a celebrity. Sino yon? Nandukam na artista. Where's it Um, si. Wait, who said that? Nandukam na artista. Where's it Um, si. Oh. Miss Lea Salonga po. Ken, sino gusto mo i-date? Marco na Garcia. Oh my god! Si Miss Tony po. Tony Gonzaga. Okay. Chocolate. Mami Pinti. <laughs> the double dick. Oh, I like her tattoo. She's got a cool vibe. <gasps> Period. Oh, 
oh, he's gonna rap why they should vote, period. No, because he kind of went off. Oh my god, he's wearing the Converse. I just noticed. Okay, everybody vote. I know I don't live in the Philippines, but please vote. <gasps> oh my god, he said, hey Lou. <laughs> Oh, I like his shoes. Oh my god, from the meme. She, that's her from the meme. I saw it on Twitter. He has the Stray Kids Converse. I want those so bad. It must be close to over, right? Oh my, a little bit. My foot is falling asleep. <gasps> I'm so excited for the BBMAs this coming up year. I hope they're nominated again and I want them to win so bad. Such a big deal. I feel like people don't understand sometimes. How big of a deal that was. Are you aiming for another Billboard nomination concert. Yes, which already happened by the time I'm back to this. It was so good. The pandemic, like the timing of the pandemic for them was just so bad, like it could not have happened at a worse time, literally. But literally they still grew so much, I'm amazed actually. I'm just so proud of them for sticking to it. Sorry, I don't mean to yawn. Bazinga. Ah, it's over. Are they gonna say goodbye? <clears throat> or are we just dancing it out? <gasps> Those outfits, that was from the Val, right? That concert, the Pepsi one. Wow. 
Oh my gosh. I love them so much. I love them so much. Such a good interview. Oh my god, Miss Karen, thank you so much for that amazing interview, first of all. I don't even know like how to end this video. I love that interview so much. I definitely agree with what everyone was saying on Twitter. Like the top two interviews to watch are Tony Talks and this one. I feel like they're at a point where they're just so comfortable talking about their past like more and the reasons why they chose this path and to watch them go into depth more about it is always so like I don't know, it's so amazing like to look back on everything that they've been through and then their pasts and like realizing that there have not been more deserving people than them like to experience everything that they're experiencing. So I hope that, I don't know, I hope a lot of people are able to hear their story and appreciate their stories and appreciate their hard work. I know I do and I know so many of us do. So yeah, I don't even know what else to say. Um, I love them so much. I'm always so happy when they are able to be vulnerable in an interview like this. Um, it takes a lot of courage, I think. But like I said earlier, I think that they've become more comfortable with it, especially this past year, um, to like open up more about it. So yeah, thank you to them always for being vulnerable. I think it means a lot to us 18 to like be able to connect to their stories and I think they realize that too so yeah I love this interview so much um thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe hit the bell for post notifications I've been posting I've been trying to post a lot more lately so yeah make sure you got the notifications on and I will see you in our next video bye